Welcome here to the first video interview from DreamHack Valencia on facebook.com slash teamverygames. We are here together with Team Existence. The Spanish team just uh, played against Team Nip and they sadly lost. Um, so we are going to see them uh, playing against us uh, somewhat later tonight. Uh, first of all, you come from different games. You have players from CS 1.6 and from CS Source. Okay. Um, how was it for you to switch the games? Well, we just we just have one player in CS Source. We are four players in 1.6, and we are like uh, fixing the uh, the travelers. You know, we are uh, practicing. We are uh, known in the game right now, and doing a great job, I think. But we we don't know really uh, like uh, we are ain't focus and all you know. So uh, did you practice a lot already, or is it really new for you? It's really new because we only practice uh, f five days, uh, five four days. We don't have uh, the, tra the the maps uh, full full train, and we just try to focus and try to do the, the better. So, uh, Existence is known for having probably the best CS 1.6 team in Spain. Uh, do you think you can be the same, uh, you can reach the same level in CSGO? We, we hope so. We are in the way, so we hope so, like, like Fabian. So, um, regarding this tournament, uh, what, uh, what are you going to do against Very Games? Obviously, you just lost against Nip. Uh, Nip and Very Games are probably the two big favorites in this tournament, and then it's probably you. Uh, so, uh, what are you going to show us against Team Very Games? Well, we are, like like I said, uh, we are going to focus in the game and try to do the better we can do it. So, uh, uh, Very Games is, I think, is the best the best team in Souls. It's the best team, so it's gonna be hard for us, very, very, really hard. So, um, considering your future, what next tournaments are planned? What do you plan in future? Uh, what do you want to reach in CSGO? Well, uh, I think we, we need to, to move a step by, by a step. This is our first tournament. Uh, and we don't know if the, the second one is like a, a World Cup or something like that. We are just playing and we are just uh, knowing the game, the Steam. Uh, not much at the moment. So basically a lot of training and a few events. Um, considering the scene at the moment in CS Global Offensive, we don't know yet we, which clans are going into. Is like clans like SK Gaming, are they going to get a team? And is Fnatic, for example, going to switch fully? What teams do you think are going to be like the top 10 of CSGO in future? Well. I think uh, at the moment the, the players or, or the teams uh, that came from Source uh, have a, a more chance to to win the tournaments. But well, I think the players who came who came from 1.6 we have to train to to train hard and to just to get the level like them. I don't know. I don't know the team who team could, could be the, the best, but I think Berry Games could be one one of them. I really, I must think uh, for me the 1.6 players have, or maybe more skill. Maybe they are uh, uh, more. We, they have more level, you know. But uh, we don't know. Really, don't know the stand in Souls. So I don't know really which is the the best teams in the world. But I think uh, Ninja Chis Pijama, Birdy Games, SK. Fanatic, they all are in the top 10, for sure. So you just talked, you said you think that 1.6 players have more skill. From where do you think that? Is it just because everybody says like, like that? Or do you have experience? Like, do you see it in your team with the CSS player you put in? Yeah, but we, we just win one tournament, win a Europe tournament, you know? Was in 2006, if I don't like, or two, 2005 and was in, in Counter Strike Source, you know, was an Euro Cyber Games in, in Germany and we beat uh, like the Polish guys in the final 
playing uh, uh, CS, CS, uh, CSGO, uh, CS Souls, you know? So I think we know, more or less we know the, the other game. And I think, it's my, my personal opinion, it's hard to play 1.6, it's the hardest game. That's why I think uh, the, the 1.6 players uh, have a better chance to, to, do the, to do history in the CCGO, you know? So it's probably also the experience because 1.6 had the bigger tournaments and uh, in comparison to CS Source, which is uh, in the last few years, we didn't have really the big tournaments. Up of uh, probably Copenhagen games, they were really big, but apart from that, just on, let's call it, smaller tournaments in comparison to CS 1.6, do you think that is also playing a role there? It's like, uh, you know, I, I think the, the CS Source players play CS Source because they don't like the 1.6 or they are uh, worse players in the 1.6, you know? That's why I think uh, if they move another game, because they maybe they run away against the 1.6, the good 1.6 players, I think now in the same, uh, in the same game, I beat on 1.6 players. So, uh, one more last question. Um, who do you think is going to win DreamHack Valencia? What can you repeat? Who is going to win? Uh, I think uh, I bet for Nothing. Very Games. I think Very Games is uh, the best team here. So, I think I bet for them. I really think it's Very Games is the hardest team in, the, in this tournament, too. Okay, so then thank you for having uh, answered me these questions. If you have anything you want to say, you can do that now. Well, uh, it's just uh, say thanks for our fans, for all the people, uh, and our, you know, uh, our sponsorships like uh, Kingston, BenQ, uh, Southon, uh, Xbox uh, 360, <laughs> Xbox uh, 360, uh, and, and Linkrix. Okay, then uh, thank, you, uh, thank you again and uh, you guys stay tuned on facebook.com slash teamverygames and stay tuned naturally on our homepage teamverygames.net. We are going to provide you with more content here from DreamHack Valencia soon.